Hi guys, Virginia here and I'm back with a new 12x12 process video for confessions of a paper edit cut files. I'm using the Paw Print Stack cut file. This is a recent release over in the shop. And I thought I would scrapbook a couple of photos of um, our cat, um, Molly. <laughs> she's a, a grey tabby and she's a handful. <laughs> but we love her. Um, and I've had these photos kind of hanging around for a while. She's always doing random things. She was kind of hanging off the dining room chairs, just kind of being cute and sticking her arms out. So I snapped a couple of photos of her, as you do. <laughs> um, and I'm using the Jean Hadfield Stardust collection. This collection has um, a bunch of little cats in it. And in particular, it's got a little silver tabby cat. And I may have been uh, <laughs> coerced into purchasing this one because of just because of that cat <laughs> that features heavily throughout this collection it's a really bright fun colorful collection it's not a recent release by any means but um i've got a ton of it um i really love it so i really want to get stuck into it and use it so um, and I think I've got double ups of it because I was able to get it from Spotlight in New Zealand. So instead of having to spend exorbitant amounts in shipping, um, I was able to get it um, really local to me. So um, I tend to buy double ups or more of scrapbook supplies when they are close to me. Um, just to take advantage of the, the price savings. Um, but that worked okay. I, I mean, I love this collection. So... Um, yeah, so I've gone ahead, I've used um, patterns from the 6x8 paper pad and just gone ahead and backed each of those little paw prints. I decided I wanted a white background, but I did want a bit of a border and I love, love, love the wood grain um, that's in this collection. I didn't want to, I mean, I really could have done a whole background in it, um, but I don't have many sheets of this and I'm obsessed with wood grain. <laughs> Uh, so I'm kind of hoarding it <laughs> at the moment so um, I decided to gut it and just do a nice border of it and I'll go ahead and I'll trim down that white uh, cardstock so there we go it'll end up looking like that so just take a minute to trim that down I'm just trying to work out how much I want to trim off I think uh, one and a half inches maybe or two inches I'm not sure <laughs> might be one and a half and then I'm just going to grab my little paper distressing tool and just rough up the edges just for a little bit of texture. And happy with the way that looks, I'm going to go ahead and glue it down onto that wood grain frame. And that's going to be the base for my layout. Kind of pressing it down, make sure it's completely adhered. I could put some washi tape or some tape on the back, but I'm not too fussed. <laughs> it is what it is okay I want to pop this little paw print stack up on some um, foam just to give it a bit of height um, so I'm just going to take a minute to go ahead and uh, pop some little foam pieces on the back of that I just use random kids craft foam that I find at the dollar store I find or I actually find it at is it spotlight um, or stationery stores you can find the big stacks of them and then I buy unity brand um a4 adhesive sheets which i find you can find them at the warehouse or um, warehouse stationery if you're in new zealand and they're double-sided like full page sheets of double-sided adhesive they're great um great for like die cutting and stuff like that as well but i just put an entire sheet of this adhesive on the back of that fun foam and so i've got one side that's sticky which i will stick to my cut file and then the rest i leave so that i one, don't have to peel off a million pieces of uh, tape. Um, and two, I can just kind of move my cut files around. And then when I'm happy, I can add some adhesive, like some glue or some tape. So that's the way I like to do it. Um, okay, what am I doing? I wanted to put a little bit of something on the background. I just had a flick through my stencils. Couldn't quite decide. I ended up settling on that bluey one, which is a bunch of kind of like falling dots I guess if you will um, and it's a really really old Rosie Studio one back when you used to be able to buy it at the warehouse <laughs> if you're a Kiwi you know what I mean um, and um, so yeah I'm just using that and I'm using some Distress Oxide I think it is spun sugar looks like spun sugar to me and I'm just sprinkling that around I'm not sure why I decided to go with dots um, I just like the idea of it 
sometimes it happens sometimes there's no rhyme or reason as to why we do things we just do them right <laughs> um I mean paw prints would have been optimal but I don't have a stencil that's got paw prints in it <laughs> I could have made one um but I'm not gonna <laughs> I will go with what I've got okay so this collection features silver very heavily I don't have a silver kind of thing to splatter but I do have this Gunzai Tambi Sari watercolor set and it's got this purely a uh, silvery white watercolor at the very end and I kind of use that as my silver whenever I need a silver and it works perfectly so I'm just going to go ahead and splatter a bit of that around on the background just for a little sparkle um, and to add a little bit to that messiness that we've got going on okay put that aside to dry while it's drying and I'm cleaning up my mess <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and back my photos with some um, pattern paper uh, my ATG's run out, so I have to uh, just deal with tape for a little bit. I do fix it shortly. Um, sometimes when you're in the groove and you're in the flow, you just want to get that thing done before you have to do, you know, the practical thing, like change the roll on the ATG. <laughs> um, it's all about choices in life, right? <laughs> you can either choose to do the things you love <laughs> um, or choose the things you choose to do the things you have to do right I chose to do the thing I love um <laughs> uh Rena, can you tell I haven't done a voiceover in a while <laughs> there we go I've changed the tape just a short time of uh yeah okay anyway so I'm going to stack those little uh, paw prints um top to bottom on my page I like that they are kind of peeking just outside of that white border and onto that wood grain um, and I'm going to stack my photos just in that kind of space over there on the right hand top um, and then I can just kind of start building my layout around there so um, just bringing in bits and pieces that I think I can use tag why not flowers for sure <laughs> uh, flowers belong on every, la every layout in my opinion <laughs> regardless of the topic <laughs> no 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 I'm kidding not always um, got lots of little bits and pieces frames hearts I mean it's it's um, a layout about our cat so you really can't go wrong with whatever you put on the page the cut files do most of the work in terms of telling the story and connecting the photo to the layout so I'm not too worried about what I add um, but I am conscious of ensuring that it looks balanced and it looks good <laughs> on the page okay moving on from the die cuts had enough of those onto these foam stickers um, uh, found the cat <laughs> now I have two packs of these so I, I had no problems using this cat on um, the page so but um, it's a photo of Molly's so I'm definitely going to use her um, pop that right down the center and I'm going to stack my title directly underneath it so the kitty cat's got somewhere to sit um, a few little stars a little speech bubble I think it says meow um, I just thought that was cute um, yeah so just kind of adding to the silver now I'm bringing in some stickers from the sticker sheet got a few little butterflies rainbows I mean it all works right some more stars <laughs> yeah anything goes right <laughs> um, and really just kind of bringing that color burst out onto the page um, yeah more little stars onto the 6x12 sticker sheet so bringing in some colored stars off there and A little heart I'm trying to get this one on decided it doesn't quite work I've got that die cut one there so I'm going to stick with that one um, I've got some little layered stickers there's a little orange piece that had a little silver heart on it so I just pop that on there um, and I've got some little fussy cut butterflies that I'm just kind of sprinkling around on the page why not <laughs> um, Back to those foam stickers and I've got this um, pink one happy at home that's going to be my title and uh, that little cat's going to sit right on top of it and I feel like that that works pretty good to me right happy with that I'm just going to go ahead and take a minute to glue everything down onto the background making sure that my stickers are well and truly stuck <laughs> just press on them <laughs> Um, yeah and I just work my way around adhering everything onto the page I like to 
I kind of adhere everything that's in the top layer onto that layer and then if there's like a middle layer I'll, I'll start picking those pieces up and adhering them together and then I can pick up the entire cut file with all the bits adhered to it and um, just add glue and then pop it back into place um, and if I've, if I've already um, adhered those like tags and flower die cuts and stuff onto the page it makes lining up um, the cut file back into the page really really simple um, so that's just a tip for you Okay, continuing on, just going to adhere my photos down. And I have popped a little bit of foam on the pieces that are kind of hanging out over the cut file, uh, just to make sure they stay propped up off the page. I want to add a little bit more sparkle, why not do that with some sequins? So I'm just pulling out a mix from Spiegel Mum Scraps. There are some really tiny uh, little silver stars in this mix so I'm just going to take a minute to <laughs> uh, work through adhering all of those uh, sprinkled around my page but after that I think that that's pretty much it for my layout hope you enjoyed the process um, and um, if you haven't seen already we've got a, um, a summer sale going over going on over at the confessions of a paper addict cut a file store not the Etsy store um, if you use the code SUMMER30 at checkout you'll get 30% off um, your order and it applies to everything, there's no minimum order quantity or anything like that, whatever you have in your cart you'll get 30% off. Um, we've also just posted a design team call and this is open to everyone as long as you've got a YouTube channel and your own electronic die cutting machine um, and you can commit to three process videos a month using our cut files which will be provided completely free of charge um, every new release and whatever you would like from the shop um, yeah uh, all the details for that are in our blog over at the store as well so check it out we'd love to hear from you and take advantage of that sale but until next time bye guys